In this video, we are going to be harvesting the results of a temperature experiment that we did where we put um, 30 celery seeds in a moist paper towel at room temperature, 30 seeds of celery at, in a moist paper towel at uh, refrigerator temperature, and then we did the same thing with cucumbers. Um, and now it's been about 10 days, so we're gonna open up these baggies and see what they look like. Uh, let's just go ahead with room temperature first for our celery here um, and see if we have any germination. This is going to be kind of hard to see because the celery seeds are so super tiny, but we're going to do the best that we can. All right. So first thing I'm noticing when I open this up um, with our room temperature seeds is that I have a lot of discoloration on my paper towel. So there are probably some fungi that are present in this. So at room temperature, it looks like um, our celery is getting some molding issues. As far as germination is concerned, um, I see one, two, three, I see three little tiny roots coming out of these 30 seeds. So they're pretty small. Um, if I had a magnifying glass, that'd probably be better. But like here, let me see if I can get this one here. This is a really good one. Okay, I got it on my finger. Now can we focus it? Okay, if you can see that little tiny white piece coming out of the pointy piece, that's the root that I'm referring to. That's what we're looking for with the celery to indicate germination. Okay, so I, I think I said three, right? Three that germinated in this paper towel. And we can really see, like if I flip this over on the back side, you can see it a little better for the kinds of, the, the molding that's starting to happen in here. We have some fungi that's starting to happen at room temperature with the celery. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at what happened in the refrigerator. Already when I look at this baggie, I don't see that mold issue that I noticed with the other one. Let's open it up and see what's going on in the inside. Okay, now as I open it up a little bit though, I am seeing a little bit of kind of moldiness. Got a sunspot coming through the kiwi here. Oh, don't drop them. That would be bad. Okay, now let's look around here and see if we can see any roots. Oh, there's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Okay, so it looks like we had nine germinate in the refrigerator. We have a little bit less of that kind of moldy issue happening on this paper towel. And so in general, it looks to me, we'll run the statistics on it to verify, but uh, it looks to me like there's a better um, germination success in colder temperatures for the celery. But we also did this experiment with cucumbers. So let's switch gears now and take a look at what happened with our cucumbers. When we germinated the cucumbers, we actually noticed within four days at room temperature that they had um, started to sprout. And so I went ahead and I potted them up into some potting soil that day just to kind of show you how far along um, we can advance when we've germinated something at the correct temperature. There were 30 seeds total, so I did two separate flats. Uh, it looks like there's one, two, three. Okay, I see one coming out of there too. So uh, it looks like there are three that have not made it above the soil line yet in this pot. Um, this one might be a little hard to see, but it's it's got the hypocotyl here now. And as soon as it gets out of this soil piece, it's gonna come out. Same thing here. We've got a hypocotyl that's poking through this. It just needs to push its cotyledons out um, over the soil. And then on the opposite side, same thing here. I can see this hypocotyl arch right here. I can kind of tease that out and 
see the green a little bit better. Uh, and then the same thing here. So there are five that haven't quite made it out to have their cotyledons out, but I'm gonna count that hypocotyl arch since it is above the surface of the soil. Now let's take a look at our cucumber seeds that we had put in the refrigerator. Visual inspection of this paper towel. Looks like we don't have fungi forming on here, so that's a good sign, at least. Oh, now when I open this up, that seed doesn't have anything, it's gonna fall. Don't fall! All right, so I have 30 seeds in here, and not a single one of these has roots. There's a couple that are stuck together, but none of them have roots. So this just goes to show you the importance of germinating at the right temperature, right? I mean, here we're at the same number of days as there. <laughs> but um, with the room temperature treatment, oh no, more seeds in there. It's okay. You know what? Those will probably germinate now that they're at room temperature. This doesn't tell the whole story though. Um, some things need to have what they call a stratification period where you give it a little bit of cold temperature and then germinate it at a warm temperature. And some seeds remain dormant for that, especially if they're seeds that evolve to live in areas that get snow.